let's have a look at how we can fix up um, fix up the way the uh, walls and the roof intersect. So if we uh, generate this little uh, these little walls and roofs that I've been uh, creating, you'll notice that there's a gap between the top of the walls and the underside of the roof. Now that would uh, probably also happen over here at this gable. Um, normally what happens is we try and draw the walls taller than they really need to be so that they um, extend through the plane of the roof. And then what we can do is cut the uh, walls to the underside of the roof using the roof as a cutting plane. Um, so what I'm going to do here is select the, uh, the walls. Now because the walls have been uh, drawn all in one hit, they were automatically grouped together. Now I can select uh, the, all the walls in one hit by making sure that grouping is turned on, like I just did. So I'll put grouping back on. I can click and select one wall and they all get selected. Now if I want to edit those walls, I have to uh, suspend grouping for a moment. I can grab the top of the walls with my cursor. Now I've just grabbed that little node right on the corner of the wall, okay, clicked and I want to use this option here um, and what I can do and by the way I'm just zooming in and out with my the wheel of my mouse um, and I can just drag it up visually so um, the walls are so tall just drag them up a little bit more I'm um, taller than the roof um, so now what I can do is use the roof as a cutting plane um, so I can keep the walls selected now there is a shortcut in your standard toolbar, that one there. If you like pull down menus, it's under design, connect, uh, trim elements to roof. So the way this one works is I can choose now the roof plane that's going to do the cutting, which is this one, and I can select the bit that I want to keep. Okay, That is the bit you want to keep, not the bit you want to cut. So I click down here. And what happens, it goes through and trims everything over the roof plane so that the walls now fit quite nicely underneath the gables. Um, and if something happens, say for example, I want to change that roof, I can click on the edge of that roof and let's say I change the pitch um, so that I drag that ridge further down. You'll notice, by the way, all the roof is changing there or this aspect of the, this section of the roof has changed but um, it has automatically kept trimming the roofs uh, the walls okay um, however if you now drag that roof ridge taller than the wall was okay you need to I think I didn't quite stretch it tall enough um, let's pick it up a bit further where that wall ends uh, it won't extend that wall so to fill that gap up I would have to either make this wall itself taller or all the walls taller and then retrim so if I select that wall there um, I could grab that wall and uh, make that wall taller okay so uh, just by visually dragging it up and you can see what it's done, it's filled in that gap there. 